Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, this morning, uh, in an opportunity to pray together, uh, we prayed back to God uh, the first several verses of Psalm 145. It's a psalm of praise. It's one of those where it sounds like everything is just right with the world, right? And it's, we will praise your name forever and ever. And I, I think we can interact with psalms like this in different ways, depending on where we are and what kind of season we're in. We may be in a season where everything makes sense, and, and this psalm is just putting into words what we're experiencing in ourselves. Um, we may also be experiencing it having experienced renewal, redemption, things being put right in some way, and it can just pour out, that praise can pour out as gratitude for what God has done. But it may be, and I'm thinking maybe if some of us are even just reflecting on a conversation as we gathered Sunday in dialogue when Kelsey, 16 years old, I think, so very close to that at least, uh, who said, you know, when she thinks of Christmas, she thinks of loss, of death, and that may be the place we're at, where things don't all make sense. And yet a psalm like this, the way we can inter interact with it, is a way that says, I'm not feeling it right now, but I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose to pray it. I'm going to choose to give this back to you, God. I'm going to choose to trust that you are able, able to bring things right, and that you want and so, in whatever way uh, you may be this morning, wherever you may be, whatever season you're in, uh, I hope that uh, this prayer uh, can either be prayed for you when you don't have it in you to pray it, <laughs> or can help channel uh, the praise that's pouring out of you right. So we'll just pray it back to God. Psalm 145, Father, we exalt you. You are our God, and you are our King. We praise your name forever and ever. Every day, we will praise you, and we will extol your name forever and ever. Great are you, Lord, and most worthy of praise. Your greatness none of us can fathom. One generation, our generation, we will commend your work to another, and then to another, and and those generations, down through the lines, they will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty, and we will meditate on your wonderful works. We will tell of your awesome works, and we will proclaim your great deeds. The generations to come, they will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. You, Lord, you, Father, our God and our King, you are gracious and compassionate. You are slow to anger and rich in love. Father, you are Lord and you are good to all. You have compassion on all that you have made. All your works praise you, Father. Your faithful people extol you. Amen. Grace and peace now.